The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, Actually, and welcome. Hang on. What? I got this. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the uh, Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I wanted to say unfiltered for a minute. Uh, I was. I, th- I thought for sure you were going to. I did almost too. did. This is Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. To my left, I have the man whose middle name is Dwarfed Hard, uh, Scotty German, everybody. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Wow. And to That's my right. That's a lot of applause. <laughs> as soon as I, you could stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And to my right. Uh, the man whose family tree is a weed plant, Mr. JP. Yeah. There you go. And you are. Hi, I'm Derek. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just Derek. <laughs> yeah, just Derek. Dude, yeah, that's it. Is your autism kicking off today <laughs> or I what? I know. Yeah, maybe so. What is going I on? I just figured I'd give you a break. Thanks, man. Yep. I'm, <laughs> and, and not going to lie, not half bad. No. Uh, except no. for that first part. The, the yeah. Uh, show. Yeah. That we've, only been, we've only been laughing on the sidelines, I think, for... Four years? I missed yeah. it when it was unfiltered. It was so much better. Was it? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> JP I've wasn't seen here. Those, dude. Dude, we fucking murdered Trill Sports. <laughs> dude, I don't know what dude, you're talking I was, about. It was mesmerizing. We crushed it. <laughs> I've never made it through an episode because I fall asleep every time. <laughs> I don't know if you know this or not. Jeremy Joseph, every episode of the Unfiltered Sportscast. It was way better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. damn yeah. it. Anyways. Good deal. Well, anyways, welcome <laughs> in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these uh, podcasts, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports. I'm going to say podcast one more time uh this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend people who have very thin skin so if you are one of those people you're in the wrong place get the fuck out of here thank you and goodbye we've got an excellent episode for you this week right yeah oh yeah man we're we're all pumped you, you check yeah you check the you check the list yep, of all I'm the actually stuff actually did today no you did not i did did you really yeah I'm i really i read every question so and there's a couple shit. of them that they're not going to like my answer. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but, yes, we have an excellent show. We've got some headlines to go over. Uh, it's Derek's first time back on the show uh, since the Super Bowl, so yep. we get to see what his thoughts on that are. Uh, we, <laughs> we've, got, we've got Never Have I Ever, That's Where I Draw the Line, some questions and preguntas, and, as always, a draft and a shitty situation to round up the show. Uh, but we like to kick this podcast off with what's happened to us over the last week or couple of weeks for Derek. And we're going to kick this off with the most anticlimactic homosexual in the world, Mr. J.P. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, J.P. I was sitting there Jack's sm- peen. Yeah. Sm- yeah. <laughs> smoking weed, playing video games, and <laughs> bowling. Yeah? Yeah. That's it? I did something, man. What'd you do? I was really excited to tell everybody on the show about it, and I don't fucking remember what it was now. <laughs> Too much weed? It's uh-huh. working. Well, if it kicks in halfway through... Man, I was really excited, too. Yeah? Because like, I was like, oh, I got something again. It'd be the second week in a row. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Did you drive while high? Is that the Always? adventure? Always? Hey, no. if there was a new drug out there that you could try that wouldn't kill you, what would it, what would you want to try? I have mine. What do you mean that wouldn't kill me? Like, like well, uh, we yeah. all know weed is deadly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, well, like, like ayahuasca. Have you heard about that shit? No. Yeah, easy, Aaron Rodgers. Hey, I'm just saying. Sounds like a lot of fun. Like Ron White quit drinking because he did that shit. Well, is where's this stuff at? Uh, it's like you got to go to like a shaman and go to like a special place. Absolutely, you, you got to get that QAnon dude. Would I? Do, are you asking would I do that stuff? Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. That's absolutely, the only thing I, I want to try. Yeah, I've tried plenty of shit that'll kill me. Well, that's good. I, I just know whenever I smoke pot, I am paranoid as fuck. So I, it's just not a good yeah. thing with me. So 
Um, I'm, I'm always high. I know. I know. Like always. I know. Yeah, I yeah. know. Uh, but it, has it hit you yet of what you did? No. God damn it. I'm the worst. It's ah uh, well. It's, I'm the it, worst. It man. is what it is. If it comes up in, in the middle of Derek's uh, week, yeah, I'll you just go, interrupt. Yeah, you just interrupt. Right like, on. Go ahead. Go no for problem. it. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's been two weeks since Derek's been here. So man, you've probably done a lot of shit, haven't you? No, I didn't think so. No, I haven't done shit. I did not watch the Super Bowl. Oh, uh, shocking. Not a moment of it actually. I'm yeah shocked. Huge fan of the parade. Um, and then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, wow. Wow. Oh. Yikes. Uh, Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some fucking burn yeah. from that. That's all right. That's all right. It's on the Ooh. list later. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> uh, no, I did not watch a, a minute of the Super Bowl. All I've really done is uh, continue to play Avatar, which it's starting to get repetitive a little bit. I'm sure it is. Uh, and then I uh, I went yesterday. It's uh, President's Day. It was mm-hmm. a very good day uh, because uh, my job is closed for that, and mm-hmm. I get paid still. Yeah. So I decided I have been itching to play cards. Yeah. So I went and played poker at my buddy's poker room. Oh, cool. Uh, I called my buddy. I said, hey, is there a tournament tomorrow? Because I didn't really want to jump into any kind of cash game because it's been a while since I played. And he was like, yeah, there's a $50 tournament at noon. I'm like, cool. I think I might come. Are you going to be there? And he goes, nope, but that sounds like a good reason to come play. I said, perfect. So I show up. I win the first hand I play. The next hand, uh, for those of you that do or don't know poker, <laughs> fucking deal with it. Uh, the next hand, uh, I'm in the big blind. I have five people call in front of me. Uh, I have five, six of diamonds. I said, oh, I'm going to make a little raise here uh, just to kind of build the pot and sure. see if I can get some people out. I got one out. I got four callers. Uh, the flop came out a seven of diamonds, eight of diamonds, two of hearts. And I'm like, holy shit. Fuck, I got an open-ended straight flush draw. So I bet, and I get uh, one caller, just my buddy. <laughs> The turn comes out. Uh, it was a, I had four or five of diamonds. So that would have been the eight of diamonds. So I turn the straight flush. Whoa, fuck. And I'm like, all right. Uh, I bet again. Uh, and then he calls me. And the river comes out. Nine of diamonds. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I still got the low end of the straight flush. I, he, I check it because there's four diamonds. I want him to bet. He does. I shove all in. He immediately calls me, has the 10 of diamonds. His straight flush beat my straight flush. Holy fuck. I've never had a straight flush. I've played poker a lot of years, uh, except for when it was on the board. <laughs> I've never had a straight flush. And the Yikes. one time I did, I lost with it. So, oh my God. Fuck. That's a, that's a kick in the nuts right there. That very much was. Mm-hmm. Man, I wish I'd have been there to see that. <laughs> I know, JP. I told JP oh, about I'd it yesterday. Been, I'd have kissed Jamie. I'd have kissed him right on his uh, lips. Oh, that's who it was? Yeah. It was? Oh, man. Yeah. And what sucked is, is it's because it's my friend. Like I'm like, fuck you. But I'm like, God damn it. I love you, too, though. Oh, I would have loved to have seen man. that, man. That's oh. just a, for all the times that you fucked me over. That's well, just, you you should just be better. I should, but yeah. I'm not, and I don't think I'll ever be. Yeah. I'm, I'm not patient enough. I, I, I would consider myself an amateur player, but whenever I play with JP and Derek, they're very good at poker. So I'm just telling you, and I know you guys are very experienced. I mean, Derek dealt for however many. He still deals. Not poker. I also uh, no. deal. <laughs> yeah. I dealt blackjack. Blackjack JP deals drugs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's really but, the same thing. Yeah. But but especially if you're just an amateur player and you go and you sit down in, in Derek's basement or wherever these two are sitting, you're going to get your money taken from you. So you might as well just pay right up front and get I, out. I would never. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> but when JP loses, it's fucking hilarious. Oh, it's, it's great. Worst. It's great. It's the worst. Yeah. But anyways, well, good. I'm, I'm glad you got two hands out of the deal. A three. <laughs> three. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then I went all in with Ace Jack uh, pre-flop about five hands later because I didn't have much left. Right. Got called with Queen Nine, which makes no sense. Yeah. And then the guy turned to straight. And they're like, you can buy back in. I go, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was ahead both times. I was like 94% on my straight flush. Absolutely. On the yeah. One card in the one, deck. One card in the deck could beat you and it suckers. fucking river ratted you. That sucks so yep. bad. So that's what I did. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And then I bowled with JP. Yesterday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you bowled did? really good. Yeah. 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 Uh, it was okay. But there is one thing I got to give you props. I'm very proud of you. Uh, you were doing very well on your diet, and you are wearing a jersey yep. that you could not wear before. Dude, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, couldn't wear it on Christmas when yeah. I got it. And it's my favorite jersey. It's my favorite. It's Michael Jordan with the bl- the black with the red pinstripes. It's my favorite Bulls jersey ever. Are you saving money while you're losing weight? 
Actually, kind of, yeah. Because really? you're going to have to get all that loose skin cut off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to Otherwise, you're back. just going to look like a big burrito. Clothes pins, man. You ever watch Simpsons? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I've seen, yeah, just okay. <laughs> pull it all behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Put it in a scrunchie. Yeah, but uh, proud of you, man. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess we'll move on to my week if you still haven't figured out what... Nope, okay. Right. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Um... Well, first thing I want to talk about is is uh, I I have I, my algorithm for TikTok and Twitter has has figured me out. They know if I have a bad day, all they got to do is show me really cute videos of pit bulls, uh, and it turns my day around. Pit bulls or pit bull? Uh, pit bulls. Either. <laughs> yeah, either. Scotty's like, oh, Mr. gasolina, Worldwide. hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it'd probably put me in a good mood anyway. Uh, but no, there's that. Um, I know that I every time I leave a Dylan's for the next month, uh, there will be some fucking drug dealers sitting outside trying to sell them to yeah. me. Yeah, not JP. I'm talking Girl Scouts oh, with no, their I, fucking cookies. Mm, and I uh, I, no, no. I spent a, they got me at the mall. Did they? Yeah, those bitches. <laughs> These fucking <clears throat> bitches. You go to the mall. I got a hundred dollars worth. Jesus the, the Christ. Mo- the mom was like, "Are you sure?" And I was like. Yeah, pothead. I'm sure. Pothead. I was like, do you not smell? Everybody else <laughs> smells me. Do you not smell me? Yeah, no shit. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm stocked up. Yeah. He so. tried to pay in weed. Like, <laughs> yeah. How many gummies how many, is this? Yeah, yeah. And everybody's trying to figure out why JP is always broke. Uh, but one thing that uh, I also did, it's really fucking amazing. There is a, there's a video game that I, I've played many, many times. Uh, and it's my favorite video game, probably of all time. If you put, if you made me only have one, I would play this one over and over again. Burger Time? No. Oh. Uh, that's a fat. That's a fucking <laughs> good game. <laughs> no, it's it's Uncharted Four. And if you don't know, it's basically PS4's rendition of Indiana Jones, only it's f- way fucking better. And uh, yeah, pretty hard to beat. It's Indiana like C based, right? Uh, no, it's it's the same people that made The Last of Us. It's uh, Naughty Dog. Okay. And 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 people say that that is probably one of the best stories of all time is The Last of Us. They made the HBO sh- show out of it, and I think the game was so much better. What a yeah. terrible name for a company. Naughty Dog? Yes. Yeah. That sounds like you're getting ready to fuck your dog. <laughs> like, who's been a naughty dog? Oh, yeah. Come uh, here. Yeah. That's what all the gays are into now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking dogs? That, no, yeah. like <laughs> pup, pup play. Oh, yeah. Uh, know, they yeah. got masks, and they dress up like dogs. And what? Oh, yeah. It's a big thing. Mm, Snoop. No wonder Snoop went by Snoop it's, Lions. He changed his life. The more you know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, I've I've told my wife this many times. I was like, dude, this is the best game. And then you don't even have to really play it. You can just watch it because it's basically like a movie. And it's it's nine hours long. And obviously, by this point in time, because I think it came out in like 2016, uh, there have been many people that just have a long play. So you can go to YouTube and watch somebody else play the game for nine hours. But they know exactly Why? where to go because of the story. And so oh. I I just wanted to show my wife one part of this game just to show how cool it was because you're like jumping from like truck to truck while they're speeding and, and it's a chase scene and shit. Sounds like Fast and the Furious, and not my, Indiana Jones. My wife was like, this is pretty fucking cool. And I was like, it's nine hours if you want to watch from the beginning. We, no bullshit, watched some fucker play this game for nine and a half hours. And she thought it was awesome. My wife is fucking cool. Is that the word? Yeah. Nine hours. Uh, nine hours. Nine hours. This was Saturday. I don't remember the last time I did anything for nine hours. Dude, we didn't do anything Saturday night. Apparently it was the not. whole afternoon. It was cold as fuck outside. We went downstairs where the den is, had a nice little fire, and turned on YouTube and watched some motherfucker play Uncharted 4. And it is. It's it's like if you've With never an played ad, it. ad like every four minutes. No, I, I have premium. Oh yeah! Well, fucking money bags. La ti da. Yeah, must be fucking nice. Yeah, to yeah. Just have fucking expendable income. It is. Uh, but awesome. while my wife is probably one of the coolest people on the face of the planet, she unfortunately has uh, uh, siblings, and one of those siblings is a fucking moron. Uh, a lot is that of you too? No. Okay. No. I'm sure. No. I uh, I and I don't care if he listens to this because I'm I'm I think this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. This dude is 34 years old, I believe. 34 years old. He just moved out of uh, mommy's house uh, not that long ago. Nice. Yeah, at 34. 
Um, and then he ended up, he bought a vehicle like in 2021. And then he brought it in one other time because he had like a battery issue. We put a battery in it in 2022. Uh, well, he calls, or not even he calls, his mother calls me and says, hey, he's got a problem with his vehicle. It, it apparently is leaking oil out its ass and it won't go over 25 miles an hour. I'm like, oh, fuck, that sounds bad. We finally get it into the shop, lift the motherfucker up. It has the same oil filter on it that we no sold way. it to him with. Same fucking one. No way. He's not changed his oil in like 25,000 miles. He's got an extended warranty company that, that may or may not pay for this. They won't for that neglect. Um, I've got to have to do some sly motherfucking shit. Uh, but if they ask what? for maintenance records, yeah, no. Uh, but basically what happened is he drove it without changing the oil for so long that the thing that houses the oil filter exploded. Jesus so, Christ. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, uh, you know, that's so wow. far that has been my week. Guys, just fucking change your oil if you don't I mean, do I don't take else. care. I don't take care of my you, car at all, but I know I do change my oil. That's an extreme situation. And the other thing. And I also change my oil from time to time, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. But here's the thing. Whenever you came in, your car smells like weed, but it's not a trash oh, it's not a heap of trashed. shit no not compared to this oh, it's that's like not good. it's like that's he's, real bad it's like he you know what he got he did what Derek did he went into quick trip and then shook up a bunch of fucking two liters of coke and then <laughs> just oh, i dropped fuck it yeah well he dropped him in his car and then shut the oh, fucking doors that's no. what it looks like in there wow. and so it's just an absolute pigsty and it's an embarrassment that uh yeah i gotta call him uh, my my brother-in-law but i remember once when and uh, my I had the lawnmower at the old house, mm -hmm. and my wife decided that she was she needed to add the oil into it, and she poured a whole fucking quart into this push mower. <laughs> Dude, it was done. It looked like it looked like that mower elected a new pope. Like, it just white smoke out of that motherfucker. Oh, oh my god! And I was like, well, let me just take the air filter out. It just covered in oil. Yeah. I'm like, I, we fucking threw it out. There's just like that. It was done. So I've been in the automotive industry for probably close to probably close to 15, 20 years now. And I worked with a guy, uh, not where I worked before or, or now, but before. And he had a, 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 I would say it was like a 25 year old gal come in and buy a quart of oil because her car said it was low on oil. And he asks the guy, he goes, well, where do I put the oil? And he, as a joke, said, well, if you just go up and lift up the hood and just pour it all around the engine, the engine will soak it up. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and he said it and laughed. Not even fucking kidding. This bitch comes out, opens no. the fucking hood, <laughs> takes the oil, and just goes oh like this. Oh, my God. Him and I are just standing going, wow. what the fuck? Yeah, and so... That was uh, that was <laughs> degreasing an engine a little bit. Yeah, that's what we had uh. to do. But yeah, I uh, thought you were going to say that your brother-in-law, you just all, it turns out all you needed to do was replace the beach towel and his air filter. <laughs> That's by far <laughs> my favorite one. Meth heads and beach towels. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you just need new, you need to change the beach towel in your intake. That'll fix it. <laughs> Did you ever hear about that story, JP? No. I had a meth head bought a brand new Mustang and <clears> he <throat> thought it would be a great idea to take out the uh, air filter that was made for the car. And instead, he took a Cars beach towel, like the Pixar Cars beach towel, and shoved it in the air box and closed it. And then all of a sudden, the engine stopped That's running. Weird. Well, it turns out that was also a supercharged Mustang, so it Ooh. sucked that beach towel into the oh. top, into the motor, and oh. fucked that. T oh, yeah, it was great. That's why you don't do why drugs. I would what? Drugs. No, drugs are fun. <laughs> meth. Just don't be. Yeah, <laughs> meth, meth is bad. Meth is bad. Meth is bad. Uh, but anyways, wow. still haven't remembered what you did down there. No. Down there. Okay. No, I stopped thinking about That's, that a long time. Hey, ago. perfectly fine. Uh, but we've got a great episode for you guys today. I do want to announce. Uh, obviously, uh, next week is when I will be going on vacation. Yeah, yeah party at Scotty's house. Hey, that's right. One, Damn one, right. one. Nope. 
No, no. Uh-uh. No, I just have a stutter. I, I have a security guard that is going to be uh, parole, patrolling. Paroling. Paroling. He's going to be paroling <laughs> felons. He's going to yeah. be He's going to watch the shit out of my house. No, I do have a friend that's going to be keeping an eye on it, though. Uh, but anyways, so that means this this week we're not going to have Mon- Monday fun day. We will actually have Monday Friday. And I will write the episode on uh, Friday evening. So what I'm telling you is, is once that post comes out and you have suggestions, please be sure to comment on Friday because that's when I'm going to write that motherfucker. And we have a very special guest that will be on next week's show. I'm very excited. And JP's been trying to fuck him for like four years. Dude, he's my first comedy crush. (laughs) Oh, I can't wait to see him. This is going to be fun. Uh, But anyways, uh, yeah, so keep your eyes peeled. Uh, The uh, 23rd, Friday the 23rd, that will be when Monday, Friday comes out. And then I also want to give a very special happy birthday to Will Gonzalez. That's uh, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Will, old boy. The show, when the show releases, it will be his birthday. So I want to give him a happy birthday. Good for you there, buddy. But yeah, let's move on to the actual show. We've got headlines to get uh, to go through. Uh, the first one that I saw, I, it absolutely makes it made me laugh so hard. And I know you guys didn't see it, but UFC had a pay per view on Saturday evening, and uh, it was a, it was a title fight. And I believe it was it was one of the I think it was Volkanovski, if I remember. It doesn't matter. But the funniest part of it was Mark Zuckerberg accompanied him to the to the ring, and hmm. I know Zuckerberg has been like doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and yeah. shit. Well, yeah, but, but it, what the funniest fucking part was was, was just getting programmed into him. Oh, uh, oh god, he looked like he was gonna short circuit in the main ring. He's a fucking robot. Yeah, dude. he is a robot, but it's hilarious because like the guy is taking <laughs> off all of his like shirts and stuff like that, getting down to just his fighting gear. Oh, keep talking. It, oh yeah, it, it, oh it's going. fucking hilarious, and he's giving it to like the other guys, and Zuckerberg is just kind of going like I, 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 I he didn't know what to do and he looks so awkward made my day I, I saw it today it was fucking hilarious look it up it's it's good time and i don't really care because uh i didn't really care who won the fight because i didn't watch uh but yeah uh this news what what do you got you got it he be remembered everybody JP i remembered. watched your interview man my interview the what the putin interview oh you did yeah what'd you think i think tucker carlson's the biggest fucking joke i've ever fucking <laughs> met in my life hey you know what what a fucking joke okay. that guy is that said what a fucking joke that guy is <laughs> what are you talking about putin? no oh tucker fuck oh, okay that dude's a moron oh really Oh my God! Why is, is that somebody you like? No. Oh, thank God! <laughs> no, I, I like, thought you really liked him, and no, I'm like, I like, I like journalists, and that, I like actual journalists. Yeah, here's that the dude's thing. an idiot. I, I, I don't hate him. I don't dislike him. Oh, he's I don't a love moron. him either. Moron. But, but if the interview is, I mean, I it's am, so bad. I am obsessed with Putin. Yeah. Okay. I get that. See, I totally so get I that. Wanted but this, and I and I'm obsessed. I mean, he I basically don't like played it. that dude for a clown the whole fucking interview. He was and see, here's where I understand. He was on thin ice when he did that whole thing. I don't want to go off too hard, but he was on thin ice throughout <clears throat> the whole thing because it's kind of one thing when you're pressing a guy like Putin, he will bomb your fucking plane on the way out. He will, and oh, I know he will. Oh, and he can, so and he will, and he yeah, walked. I on, wish he would have. He walked on eggshells the whole time. But he did press him at the very end in a couple of other places, and I and I wouldn't have had the balls to do that. I know that's a homicidal fuckhead, and I know he'd blow my fucking plane up. Yeah, the stuff he pressed him on wasn't fucking... I disagree. I, I disagree. I thought, you know what, for not being a huge fan of Tucker's, I thought he did a pretty damn decent job in my I'm pretty my opinion. sure that that guy's autistic. Hey, I mean, well, maybe. <laughs> he's got a great laugh, though. Yeah, he's yeah. got... He's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got something, man. That yeah, dude anyway. was a trip. Yeah. Anyway, that's, anyway that, that's what it was. That's what you want. Good for you. Yeah. I'm glad you at least watched it. You inspired it. me, I'm man. I'm glad to, you at least watched yeah, it. Yeah, I watched I'm, it twice. Yeah, because that just is Just to a, make sure that that dude was as big a clown as I thought. Putin is an absolute misleading homicidal fuckhead. Oh, yeah, dude. And I can't stand it. But you know but, what? That's how everybody in power is. Uh, maybe, yeah. No, no, there's no maybe. Yeah. I, They're I'm, all that way. I'm going to say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, all right. So, moving on from the UFC fight, I did want to also uh, bring up another fuckhead. 
Uh, there was a former WWE employee, 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 Janelle Grant. She filed a lawsuit accusing accusing Vince McMahon of sexually abusing her and trafficking trafficking her to other men inside the WWE. Fucking Vince McMahon. Shocker. Is anybody surprised? I'm like, what? shocker. Are you kidding me? No That's way. That's not just him. That's that not just her. That is a shock. There's, oh, I, oh, there's no. like a shitload of them. Yes, there's yeah, going to be I'm a sure. fuck. I, can't, I, can't, I couldn't read throughout this whole fucking thing, but absolutely, there yeah. has got to be tons uh, of them. One chick killed herself, that Ash, Ashley Massaro. She I don't ended remember up, her. She ended up killing herself, uh, but she, same deal, passed her. She was, he had her on like Soloft or some shit, so, some fucking painkiller jesus and Christ. then uh one dude like picked her up and carried her to another dude's room oh oh wow. dude they just oh, fucking and then she ended lucky up, bitch <laughs> <laughs> she ended up fucking killing herself like that's uh, sad well, yeah dude, that's fucking that's, terrible but i mean like everybody's obviously the story broke and then you see you see this gal like now and you're like Ugh. like like things that make you go Buh. But like so back, she looks like Brock Lesnar's daughter. A hundred percent. I'm yeah. not even kidding. Right. That's pretty close. Wow. But like uh, back whenever she she was like actually like an official is what she did. She was a female official at one point in time. And so, yeah, if it's happening to this chick and right. she's got a lawsuit, yeah, here imagine. they yeah. come. Oh, dude, oh, back sure. in the 90s, I bet they were fucking. Oh, 100%. Uh, and early I mean, 2000s. I yeah. bet you, I bet you, Elizabeth, I bet you, Elizabeth <clears throat> probably was treated like absolute. Oh. Shit. No, no, Savage was fucking. If you read about that, that oh, dude really? was possessive and controlling oh, and I believe it. abusive. I don't know about abusive per physically, but. Yeah. But oh, he's fucking only think. crazy. I'm sure. Well, yeah. he is. Yeah, he was very crazy. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> fucking all the guy ate was Slim Jims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that I Slim mean, Jim diet will get you mad cow disease. Yeah, it will. Uh, so yeah, there is that. So and he's already resigned from the company. Oh, uh, it because yeah. here here it comes and there will be probably five to ten more depending well, on how many of them are still alive and netflix just signed a big deal with them four billion yeah. with a fucking b dog like 10 years four billion dollars exclusively on netflix yeah which i think is actually a smarter thing to do wonder, because it's they, streaming I wonder if they were like thank god we fucking got that deal signed exactly before. i know they did oh so there you go there's some wwe news for you uh, we're obviously going to get to uh, the Kansas City Chief Parade happened over uh, this uh, last weekend. You know, the... Uh, Man, come the, on. If the officials would have called a fair game, this never would have happened. This never would have happened. Never would have happened. If the officials... Oh, we're all get, going to hell. I'm trying to be the bigger man here. I'm usually not. I'm I, usually the guy that cracks the most fucked up jokes that'll keep me off the fucking television forever. For what it's worth, Derek and myself wow. were not in Kansas City at this particular parade. Uh, we, ha- both, like, we both have alibis. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Plus, so. if it was me, I'd have went right at Kelsey first. That Kelsey been like, first? Yeah. I don't know. I, Mahomes? You wouldn't have gone after Mahomes first? Uh, Kelsey's worse. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. Uh, but yeah, so unfortunately, there was a shootout. Uh, there was how there was how many people were injured and one killed. Uh, it was one killed and like twelve injured, I think, yeah, or something, something like that. that. Was a reporter. Want to talk was about cool. Red Kingdom? Yeah. Oh fuck. But uh, <laughs> Jesus, all this gun violence in Kansas City. Yeah. Uh, but. They were the guy was actually, or one of the guys was actually stopped and tackled to the ground by another fucking fan. So he probably saved quite a few people, which uh, good on that guy. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, un- I mean, obviously, all dark jokes aside, that really that really is fucking sad. Uh, but that's why we need to stop letting Kansas City win Super Bowls. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> this would not happen if that didn't happen. Let them play fair, okay? dude. I'm telling you right now, the next Taylor Swift song is going to be fucking lit now. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it's gonna be fucking. It's gonna lit. be like bullets over Lombardi. <laughs> <or something. laughs> she was one of the first ones to reach out and donate to all the that's go good. Fund me's and stuff like that. That's good, dude. dude she's a fucking. She's an awesome person, good person. Dude. Yeah, she really is. She is, dude. She's a great person. She's just <laughs> dating a douche. <laughs> that's cool, man. And, and any time that she has to like go somewhere, she leaves in her private jet. She should. <laughs> I mean, she can. Yeah. For all she does for everyone else, fuck yeah. Do yeah. for yourself, too. Yeah, just if fucking, she needs to get the remote control at the end of the bed, private jet. That's what she's got to do. Yeah. yeah, she's that fucking cool. I'll yeah. hand her the remote. She just <laughs> has to ask. Just have to ask. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, so that happened. Uh, moving on to the NBA All-Star Game. Oh, my God. Dude, it's, I don't ever watch the NBA ever. We, we've talked about this multiple times. We, but holy shit. It was bad. It, the whole thing is a joke. The game itself, the skills challenge, I don't think is terrible. Nah, but the fucking it's the game horrible. itself, it's terrible. It's awful. It's awful. But you know what? And I think uh, Stephen A. Smith talked about it the other day. Um, and the thing that he hates the most is the dunk contest now because yeah. it's awful. It's all been done. But he's also he blames LeBron James because LeBron James would never do the dunk contest, and so all of these excellent dunkers are sitting out because they're following. Ah, suit. that fucking honky that did it a couple of years ago. He was, was cool. He was cool. Yeah, he was, he was only cool. like five eight. Yeah, That's what made it, and he still dunked. Yeah, but the think the last good one, and I I haven't watched NBA in a very long time, but it was the guy from the Magic, and I think a guy from the Bucks, I think, but they were doing crazy shit, and it was the coolest, probably the best dunk contest i've ever fucking seen but you just don't have the dominique wilkins versus michael jordan anymore and jordan quit after he for, won. After so long too uh, well you like you're supposed to do when you win a competition you're not supposed to go back into it again very good <laughs> hey <laughs> yeah sorry tell the other five oh, people that did it oh man i would <laughs> yeah. to their faces as well <laughs> That's the only reason I did it. I waited till the very end. <laughs> but anyways, if all your friends were jumping off a bridge, would you fucking jump too? Yes. That's yes, probably, I yeah, would. You probably would. I got to make sure it's safe first. My God. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to go wow. first. What kind of uh, asshole love, do you think I am? I love where that went. You're welcome. That's that's my only I like, got a good, kid, that's, Scotty. that's the only good thing I've got oh, for today's man. show. You win the show. <laughs> Thank you. Today. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just go fucking wipe my tears with hundred dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Derek's rich now. Uh, <laughs> You've got all that. He's still got all that he's wheel of fortune, fortune money. money, bro. Nah, that shit's gone. That shit's gone. Uh, or it's in a trophy case of some particular kind. I yeah, think. right. Yeah, yeah just hundred dollar bills. Somehow, he's just hundred dollar bills. <laughs> he's got wheezies all over the place. Over. I got wheezies for days. <laughs> Oh, fuck. All right. And last, uh, but certainly not least, we finally have baseball season coming around. It is coming. Pitchers and catchers have started reporting, and I actually mean baseball player pitchers and catchers, not oh. JP's kind of people. Well, they've been reported. They've JP's been reported. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they've, they've all been they, reported. Been They're reported. coming in the vans any day now to pick <laughs> us all up. They're on a they list. Just, just walk in the bar, <laughs> yeah. and JP's like, catcher reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but no, uh, it is going to be baseball season coming up really, really quick. But I throw I'm, a mean screwball. I'm sure you do. But unfortunately, I'm going to call that the Los Angeles Dodgers are going to probably win oh, of course three they are. World Series in a row. The uh, And it's going to suck. Fucking Cubs won't sign anyone. They won't spend money. It's so fucking annoying. Yeah. The fourth largest, most va- fourth most valuable franchise in baseball and won't spend yeah, fuck that owner, man. It's like the it's like the I wish Cubs he was and the at the Bears. fucking Chiefs parade. <laughs> oh, fuck. fuck him. It's like it's like the Cubs and the Bears are the one and the same. It is. Yeah, it's, it's all Chicago teams. Yeah, and they're like we don't have any money. Yeah, we but, got our uh, own TV network and we built our own fucking DraftKings sports bar. Yeah, where we take gambling money. <laughs> But we can't afford to sign anybody. Yeah. We got David Peralta on a fucking minor league deal. Yeah. Um, but in that in that regard, uh, I still am going to obviously watch probably more baseball than, uh, than I normally do. I am excited about um, a couple other things that's going on with St. Louis. But uh, at the same time, I, I just don't think anybody's going to be as good as the Dodgers. I just don't. I do like the over on Royals wins. Okay. And I like the under on Cubs wins. I might even take the I might take the over on Cardinals wins depending on what it is cuz I after the season that they had last year, I think they're going to be a lot better. The Royals I, I spent uh, money. They spent like 100 they've million dollars. Couple, they've made a couple really big moves in the last They made bit. they fucking signed Bobby Witt yeah, to right. like 10 years I think. Yeah. No, so, it was a, like a 14 year 14 total year deal. total deal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, and that's pretty cool cuz we got to see Bobby Witt at uh, uh, in the minors. We yep. got to see him as uh, when he was going up against the wind surge, which yep. I thought was pretty cool. Yep. He was a um, Northwest Arkansas natural. Yep, and uh, unfortunately, I, I know I know you're going to be doing some some announcing. 
uh, this yeah. year. So whenever uh, Derek is off the show, uh, starting what April? Mm-hmm. Starting in April, so he probably won't be on the show near as much uh, because he will be doing his uh, thing for the Wichita Wind Surge. And uh, but yeah, so go and check him out whenever that happens. You can hear him, uh, flag him down, tell him how good he looks after losing all that weight. I, I got a lot of weight to go. Buddy. Hey, buddy, it's it's a whole year thing. Don't I, stop. You're doing great. I still got to lose a fucking high school teen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got about me, 80, 90 pounds to me go. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag me too. Uh, an anorexic teen. There That's what go. I got to lose. Uh, so yeah, but anyways, uh, that is headlines for this week. Unless you guys had anything else, uh, I heard. Uh, oh yeah, I know that uh, that one chick in college basketball like broke some kind of record. Oh, Caitlin Clark. Yeah, Caitlin Clark broke broke like uh, the most points scored in her, her career or some shit like that, and she she broke it like shooting a Dude, half court shot. Imagine how much money she's gonna make in the WNBA. <laughs> Thirty five thousand dollars. She could be a thousand there. Yeah, she yeah. could. The very first multi, thousand there. Multi thousand. Really there. excited about yeah, it too. I, I do got to give it to the chick uh at the nba all-star game though that went toe to toe uh, with, st- with steph curry and shot from the men's three-point line good for her. not from the women's three-point line. did she win she did not that's because but that's she, what happens somebody said she scored this she had the same score as damian lillard oh well. so yeah, dude. I got it. You got to give it to her for that. She didn't oh, take yeah. the easy way and go shorter distance. Oh, uh, yeah. But uh, I, I saw a video before that actually happened. There was a video going around of who would win <laughs> in a three point competition, her or Steph Curry. And I was like, nah. But I mean, she made it close. She did use a women's ball, though. Oh, I didn't know she did that. Yeah. So smaller weak. ball, weak sauce. Weak. I give her the distance, and then here she fucks me with the goddamn sure ball. Sure does. They it happens. I take it all back. There, Fuck you. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Stupid lesbian. <laughs> go make pies. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, that is headlines for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff, fun part of the show uh, that we do on Monday Fun Day. Uh, we send out a post on Mondays to where you can comment and you can uh, give us your suggestions for all of these segments. This week it will be on Friday, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But we're going to kick it off with Never Have I Ever. And there are some fucking doozies this week. There I mean, are some good ones, some but there are a ones. couple. There are a couple that, that I just... Rolled your eyes. Yeah, well, here we go. Yeah, well, okay, here we go. We're starting. We're starting. Here we go. This one comes in from Roger Colton. He wants to know, never have I ever found an item in my shopping bag that I didn't pay for. Did you uh, find, fa- it, yeah. find it? Found is a real weird word. <laughs> okay, because... Obviously, I'm the one that put it in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But I here's but I never know. I've never done that. Yeah. But like I went and got groceries maybe two or three months ago, and I stopped after work. It was fucking tired. I worked a double that day, so I fucking had a 24 pack of Dr Pepper under the cart. You know? Yes. And I went to the self checkout. I scanned all my shit. I put it in bags. I paid for it. I got out to the car, and I was like. Oh fuck! Yeah, I didn't ever ring up that fucking twenty four pack. Mm-hmm. So I went back into the store, put the cart back, and then went home. <laughs> you so little, yes, I you, guess that counts. You little shit. I know. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah. I uh, honestly, dude, I I go to the store very, very like rarely, and when I do, it's to get three things. Right. And so if I'm getting three things. I'm not going to forget about something I put in a bag. Uh, so, no, I have never done this. They Did check it? your receipt? Huh? They check your receipt? Only at leave? Sam's Club. I heard they're not doing that anymore now. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of uh, a lot I, of What are they going to do? <laughs> It's Stop. some 85 year old lady that's highlight. What if I, I'm going to bring my own highlighter? Well, shit. Oh, they already got me. Fucking, there's Walmarts all over the country where people are just going and grabbing shit and fucking walking yeah. out with full carts. So That's a good idea. What what else are you gonna do? Uh, but no, I've never done this. Have you done this, Derek? Uh, not no, but I've been not charged for something on accident, and I didn't say anything. <laughs> Twice. Twice. This has happened. Uh, once when I bought my PlayStation Three, I bought my PlayStation Three Madden and an extra controller, and they didn't charge me for Madden. Oh, I didn't catch it till I got home, and I was like, man, you know what? That's uh, it's not going to hurt the company. Either. Yeah, it's best. Turns buy. out it was GameStop. It yeah, did. It them. did hurt. <laughs> it really hurt. Them. It really did. Yeah. Uh, 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 and then Lowe's 
Fucking Lowe's. Yeah. Uh, when I went to build my deck, we, you see, you see Jeremy around there picking a fight with people. No, damn, I was ready to. <laughs> yeah. So I was waiting for like a two years no interest deal, yeah. and they I, they don't always have it. It's usually like if they do, it'll be like around Labor Day or Memorial Day, or so. I was ordering all the materials oh, to rebuild man. my composite deck, and I did it all online. And it was like, I was like, well, let me wait a couple days because it's almost Labor Day because it's only going to be like six months, no interest. And this is thousands of dollars worth of shit. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I can't do that. So I waited. Mm. Finally, uh, Labor Day rolls around, two years, no interest. Perfect. I order it all. It's going to be shipped on like, it was Labor Day weekend. It was going to be shipped and supposed to arrive like on November 5th. November 5th rolls around. I get an email. It's delayed. Okay. Two weeks, still not there. Delayed again. Two weeks, delayed again. A week, delayed again. So I call and I'm like, hey. At one point, they show up with shit. They call and they're like, hey, we're here with your delivery. And I'm like, okay, uh, I'm home. And they just show up with like three posts. Are and I'm you like, serious? what the fuck is this? And they're like, oh, that's all we have. I said, I'm supposed to have like everything. And they go, uh, maybe that's coming on a different truck. We're the Hutch Lows. I'm like, huh? <laughs> So I'm like, okay. Hutchinson, Kansas. It's like an hour north. Yeah. So I take the fucking three things, throw them in the garage. I go to work and then I get a phone call. It's like, hey, this is so-and-so with Lowe's. We just want to make sure we're okay to bring all this stuff. And I'm like, you guys already showed up and delivered my three posts. They're like, no, we got like two pallets of stuff. I'm like, oh, perfect. So uh, that's a long story. Jesus they come Christ. To show up. I'm glad you know. <laughs> my, buddy signed, my buddy ended up meeting him there, signs for it. Uh, and then I swear to God, if you got three posts for free, if this whole fucking <laughs> no, no. story oh, no, no. is for three fucking posts, three I'll posts. fucking hit you. My buddy shows up, uh, to sign for all of it. Cause I couldn't get there. Uh, Jamie shows up, yeah. uh, who had COVID turns out. Cool. Uh, but he signs up and, uh, gets it all signed. They're like, yeah, our computer's broken. So if you just want to sign this piece of paper here, it's got the, everything printed out on it, signs it. Still, I have everything, but I bought. I built a composite deck. I don't have the composite boards, mm -hmm. and I bought a gate for the side of the fence for the fence. Not there. Delayed. Delayed. We got the whole thing framed. Still not there. So I'm like, well, I call them. I go, what the fuck's going on? I've got everything but the decking. And they go, well, yeah, it's just COVID supply chain. I said, if I can go somewhere else and find the decking, can I just cancel that part? I've got everything else. They're like, yes. So I went to Menards on the shelf, called Lowe's, said, hey, I bought decking. I got everything but the composite decking. They canceled the whole fucking order. <laughs> like $4,000 worth of lumber <laughs> they I did not pay for. That's what you got to do, I repeated kids. multiple fucking times. I got everything but the decking. And I was like, you know what? That's on you. <laughs> Note to self, don't go out on Derek's deck. No. Yeah. That shit is going to collapse. Yeah, yeah it's good. It's been Karma. there for four years. Yeah, right. it's been there for quite a while, and it yeah, looks good. Eventually. looks good. Jamie helped you build down. it, if I remember correctly, didn't he? Uh, actually, uh, Jamie built it. I just handed him <laughs> screws and clips. <laughs> they, he's just like, another clip? Here yep. you go. Yeah. Like, that's... So yeah, yeah. But anyways, I know uh, that's a long fucking. Story. It was a good wow, story though. Totally worth it though, I, dude. I, I know it's a long fucking story, but I remember when this was happening like real time when it yeah, was. Yeah, me too. And Derek was fucking furious. Oh yeah, fucking I furious. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, amazing what four thousand dollars in lumber <laughs> will do to your mood when you get it for free. <laughs> that's right. I had uh, some of those were warped. I'm like, eh, you know, well, fuck <laughs> it. Yeah, that'd be all right. It, it's free warped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, next one. Let's go to this comes in from Tyron Smith. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever ran from the cops. <laughs> Derek, yeah. Derek doesn't look like much of a runner. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I am. I got caught on uh, an, an iron, a wrought iron fence. <laughs> oh, no uh, shit. Yeah, I couldn't get over it. Uh, by the time I did, they made me turn around and go the other way. Uh, that was uh, when the Cubs won the World Series. Oh. oh. I was cutting through yards to get to the front of the marquee. Uh, and I was with my best friend, Brian. Who is heavier and larger than Derek by a lot. And at one point, uh, we get into one person's backyard. And motion light goes off. There's a privacy fence. And I'm like, fuck. And he goes, hang on a minute. And Brian hops up on that bottom <laughs> two Christ. by four. 
to look up, and uh, that whole fucking section just over. goes, oh, boom. Oh, no. God <laughs> damn it. Dude, I'm fucking scared, and I'm uh, laughing uh, so fucking hard. Uh, 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 and you hear the door open, and then I'm, my foot's caught. I get my foot free and just take off. I'm about to piss myself. Oh, fucking shit. laughing. Dude, he far lead the shit out of that <laughs> It was the best. Far lead. That's, that was the best day of my life. That's great. That was, uh, yes, I ran from the cops. I, we, when I was in high school, yes, high school, uh, we ended up throwing a concert kegger in a outside of town in a big open field, and it was probably, I don't know, 15, 20 acres uh, out in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, yes, I was in a band, right, Derek? Derek has a picture of when I was in a band. Oh, yeah. That's your so, contact photo. Yeah. So, you ever seen it? Scotty and the heebie jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was called Sevix. Uh, it was like seven and a six. It was kind of cool. Yeah, uh, it was Sevix. a metal band. It's a math band. Yeah, yeah. it's a math yeah. band. <laughs> but, hey, before that, he was in three. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, but no, anyways, it, it was a metal, it was a metal band. It was just something stupid that we did when we were in high school, but oh yeah, man, that was good shit. Wow. Yeah. Uh, man, uh, you guys oh, yeah. look like you rocked hard. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Yeah. And, and you, he got you rock hard. I was just getting ready to say yeah. that. I'll, I'll show you a picture of the actual concert that we put on though. Oh yeah. Right. We, we put it on and it was like a 1970s international flatbed truck. There was a drum set yeah, on top right of on. it. had a flatbed in front for the guitarist, me and the bassist. And then for our stage lights, we had a big ass lifted redneck truck with KC headlights. Nice. That was the lights for the stage. And then we, had no bullshit like 12 keggers all around the fucking stage and we started playing music at 10 o'clock at night we maybe tuned our instruments before whoop cops show up yeah try to fucking catch a bunch of kids in a fucking 20 acre field yeah. in their car just running away yeah yeah so yes i have jp crazy enough no. I believe And you. I'll tell you why. Because one of my best friends growing up was the chief of police's son in the town I lived in. Ooh. So we did whatever the fuck we wanted. Like, we would break into the gym all the time and go play basketball in the gym uh -huh. at school. Yeah. And the janitors would get pissed. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, they were like, you can't be in here and whatever. And Joe would be like, call the cops. <laughs> and so they would. And then as the cop drove by, we'd all just wave. And he'd wave back, and fucking we'd just keep playing basketball. Nice. And it, his whole thing with his dad was like, look, they're not fucking out causing trouble. I mean, he didn't know. He thought we were just there playing basketball all the time, being good kids. But anyway, sure. you know, he was like, fuck it. It's not hurting anything. Our taxes pay for that motherfucker. Let him play. And the janitors got so mad. It was the best. <laughs> Fuck you, janitors. Yeah, that's right. But uh, So, no, I never really ran from the cops because I never really you. had to. You're a good boy. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, next one comes in from Chase Golden. He wants to know, never have I ever watched myself in the mirror during sex. <sighs> yeah, I have. I did. I have. Yep. Dude, I won't even watch myself in the mirror after I get out of the fucking shower. I was like, I was, no. I was in good shape at the time. I looked good. She looked good. So, uh, yeah, I did. JP? 100%. <laughs> Just say it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, fair enough. More than once. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one. Come it's weird because the butthole looks backwards. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so weird. <laughs> Did you ever find the half ass bandit? Closer than it appeared. Yeah? Yeah. I'm sure. Did you ever find the half ass bandit? No. No? Damn. No. He's still on the loose. He is. Uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know Never have I ever walked in on my parents fucking? Never. Really? But my mom walked in. I've told that yeah, story. Yeah, you have so, told that story. Vice versa, yes. But no, I never walked in on them, thank God. Oh, I have. Thank, thank God I've never walked in on my parents having sex. Um, I have come home and heard it, though. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was when my dad was not married to my mom anymore. And the person that was in there with him was the cleaning lady. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Superman, no home. <laughs> oh no, she was no, she was she was a uh, blonde. She's like, oh, oh I, good. I, I, clean, I clean, single I clean, mom, I clean, I clean. Yeah, so uh, no, 
But I polish. Uh, I, polish. That, I polish. I polish. Miss Swan. I clean. Uh, I I did. No. I also have been walked in on my girlfriend's mother. Yeah. That was nice. That ruined it. That was that yeah. was the end of that relationship. But uh, yeah. How about you, uh, Derek? No. no, no. I grew up in a single parent household. <laughs> if I walked in on my dad jacking off, that'd be fucking <laughs> weird as hell, man. That would be. Uh, what about your mom? If I walked in on my mom jacking <laughs> off, that'd be weird too. <laughs> or jilling off or whatever the fuck they call it. I don't know. Yeah. Flicking the bean. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah. Uh, no. All but... I did was find her Coke straw. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Next one uh, comes in from Christian George. He wants to know, never mm. have I ever taken a shit on an airplane. No. I am terrified as it is on an airplane. I am not moving, and I'm so scared. I don't want to move on the airplane because somehow I think that me moving around will throw the weight of the <laughs> fucking plane off. That's how dumb I am and how scared I am of flying in airplanes. That's physics for me, man. I don't think I could. <laughs> I don't, I've, got to, I've got to have somebody in there like mapping out how I'm going to get in and out of that thing. And I'm getting ready to be on a 13-hour flight here yeah. in like six weeks. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know what I'm... I'm going to eat a lot of cheese before I get on the plane. So I, I have been told, and I don't know if this is true, but like whenever you're in space uh, and you have to take a shit, that you sit down on this <laughs> thing that has like a suction cup. <laughs> up to you. Are you going to be okay? JP, are you going to live? I have one of those at home right now. <laughs> No, it likes it like your ass creates an airtight seal, and whenever you flush, if it's not all out, it will come out because it sucks planes like a vacuum. Planes aren't like that. No, no. planes aren't, but I guess the shuttle is. But uh, yeah, uh, it's wow. just wow. I think we need that for here. <laughs> no, that would save me some time. Oh uh, man, probably some cleanup too. Mm -hmm. Anyways, and last one comes in from a guy named Travis Cagle. That sounds familiar, JP. No, oh, that's Travis. He'll be here. Holy shit. That's who's going to be here next week. Travis Cagle. You can go check him out. I know uh, I know he's he's got some stand-up comedy on YouTube. I started to yeah. watch it. He looks uh, – that was the last night at the Looney Bin, so I think he was a little bit tipsy. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> anyways. Uh, he usually, if he's at the Looney Bin, he usually was. Yep. Uh, but anyways, Tra like Travis wants to know, never have I ever peed in the kitchen sink. Nope, but I've came in the dishwasher. Love you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just get it? Oh no, I, okay. I got it, but the JP's face made me laugh harder. <laughs> that part was that I, part. Liked, I liked the yeah. Yeah, yeah he looked the, like the enthusiasm the, that you said it with that's was right. pretty impressive. Remember that one time when we had my wife on this show and we said, Hey, has Derek ever said anything on the show that got him in trouble? Yeah, that might be and one. That's when it happens, is that kind of shit. Mm. Uh I have <laughs> I have never peed in the kitchen sink, uh, but I have peed in the bathroom sink. I exclusively pee in the bathroom sink. <laughs> I like to watch me do it. <laughs> Just in other people's bathrooms. No, <laughs> all yeah, mine too. Uh, it all goes to the same place. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I I, I had to have been drunk. Hundred percent. Yeah, I've never. I don't think I've ever peed <laughs> I in the kitchen I pissed all sink. over Derek's floor in the basement. Yeah, you did do uh, that. I did do that. My but. boss at my job has, <laughs> for some reason, has a water. We don't have a public bathroom. It's just mm -hmm. like an employee's type deal. Sure. And he had a water pick down there, like for your teeth, like a water yeah. flosser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I come up after taking a shit, and I was like, dude, your portable bidet is great. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh nice. man. Wow. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is Never Have I Ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite segment. That's where I draw the line. Continue to send these to us because they're getting uh, there's getting to be some pretty damn good ones. First one comes in from Matt Newman. He wants to know where do you draw the line? First stupid fucking question <laughs> that we've had. No. Uh, you remember how I said there was a couple of them that were just fucking ridiculous? Mm. There's never too many well, Girl Scout cookies. let me ask the fucking question, dipshit. You did already. No, no I didn't. didn't. Oh. Matt Newman wants to know how many boxes of Girl Scout cookies is too many? No. Yes. There's never a thing. Dude. I wish if I could just have Girl Scouts in my basement making me cookies all the time. Well, they're chained up in there. I know you there's just gotta a couple go of in them there. in there. Yeah. But no, there is no such thing. Yeah, there is. No. There totally is. 
I, I mean, I'd say a hundred dollars worth. Hundred dollars <laughs> worth. <laughs> One, yeah, a hundred bucks. That's, I'm already halfway through. That's too much. But I mean, I get it because it's I'll you. I'll buy more. I get it because it's you. You're yeah, a, you okay. would fucking wake and bake oh, and I need a snack. Cookies, man. Okay, cookies and what, cakes and donuts. What and, kind? What kind? Do you, what kind do you get? A variety. Okay. What's uh, your thin favorite? Mints. What, what's your favorite? Oh, the, my favorite are the peanut butter ones. The peanut butter patties? patties? Nope. The other ones. Sandwich? Yeah, the peanut butter sandwich ones. Oh, Fuck, they're good. God, man. you're gay. And then the peanut butter patties. Yeah. And uh, they had the the lemons are okay. The, the lemonades. lemonades. I like those. Yeah, those they're, they're okay. I've got a couple of them, but I mean, mostly. The toasty are pretty mostly good. Mostly the peanut butter ones. The ones that have coconut are fucking disgusting. Yes, the caramel delights or uh, whatever the fuck. Some they people are. call them Samoas. Samoas, yeah. they're gross. They can suck. I it. agree. Um, but I would get I would get two boxes of Thin Mints, and <sighs> they would last me a year. You might as well just brush your teeth and eat a Hershey's at the same time. What the fuck? They're That's good out of in the only in the freezer. That's though. what I was getting ready yeah. to say. There's some. There are two Brits that I follow on TikTok, and they came over and bought Girl Scout cookies for the first time. And everybody, they got Thin Mints, and everybody, when yeah. the comments, put those put fuckers in the, in the freezer, freezer yeah. for a day. Yeah. And it's true. Uh, next one, where do you draw the line? Ugh. How drunk or high can you get before or before work before you lose the ability to focus? JP functions as a constant pothead stoner. I think if I'm not high. You'd get pissed. I, I Well, no, I get, I just. I can't function like okay. I can't like focus like yeah. I can't fucking. You're, you're an addict. I get it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Right. That's totally uh-huh. fine. Um, uh, zero. Uh, I I do not like having to go to work and the day before have any kind of like if like I have a hangover. Yeah, because when you're 36 and you have a hangover, it's tw- it's so much worse, so much worse the next the the next day. It lasts all day and you feel like death. So. Uh, yeah, none. I, I have to be stone cold sober to go to work. Derek? Uh, stone cold so sto- uh, stone cold sober is a really shitty wrestler. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, if you like coffee, give me a hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah! Anyway. My name's Scotty and I'm an alcoholic. What? <laughs> <laughs> My name's Scotty and I'm an alcoholic. What? what? <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, uh Anyway, <laughs> for you, uh, I you know I used to work at a job at a job where you could drink uh, on the job. It was at a, obviously oh, yeah. at a, at a bar, bar, yeah, yeah. Um, and Uber. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you own your own business; you can drink whenever you want, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, contracted. and then and then you'll and then you'll get a passenger like you that calls and rats <laughs> on your ass, makes a complaint, and ruins your entire you life. Oh yeah, I did do that, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, you did, yeah. fucker. He wasn't drunk; he was high as fuck. <laughs> Uh, hey, maybe he was, he, he was coked or meth. That it, sa- it says drinking or drugs. Yeah, drinking oh, yeah. or drugs. Yeah, so. I don't condone drugs, JP. Uh, yeah. I do. Um, anyway, anyway, uh, but I could do like maybe like if I, if I started to feel like I was starting to get buzz, then I wouldn't stop because it's somebody else's money that I'm fucking with. It's not my own. Yeah. So, yep. Uh, not a lot. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Cody Duffy. He wants to know how long is too long for a single sex session with or without a partner? Well, yeah, <laughs> with a partner. Okay. Uh, with your partner. I'm out of shape. Yeah. So we're going to say about, uh, six minutes. Longest. I said the <laughs> longest. Yeah. That's I'm out of shape. <laughs> I'm at, dude, I might, my, my heart will be beating to my fucking neck, especially if I've got to hold myself up in yeah. missionary position. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, six minutes right now yeah jesus i gotta Christ. i gotta start getting in shape man six minutes i am under, i am now to the shape and age where i understand that commercial where it says <laughs> ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex <laughs> <laughs> i now get that question <laughs> six minutes dog oh. that's a long session <laughs> that, yeah apparently that's uh-huh. That's apparently, what? I guess he you just kind of, uh, he's on one side of the bed and Katie's on the other. And he just rolls on top of her and then back over and he's done. That's it. It's Pretty just much. one. Yeah. I'm in. Inclu- yeah. You got to include foreplay and everything all together. That's what I'm saying. Oh, seven foreplay. minutes. Seven <laughs> minutes. A whole, a whole minute for foreplay. Uh huh. God damn so you. You got to tell her. That she Katie looks, is a lucky woman. Yeah. She, she, she really is. Wow. Mm-hmm. Holy can, moly. Can, she must really love you, man. So, you know, she likes me. <laughs> yeah, she does. 
why we don't know i know right yeah I'd... yeah uh anyways i i can i can remember the like whenever we go on vacation that bed is getting just absolutely annihilated so um i there was one time one day where it was about an hour and a half uh over and over again yep, and i think that is way too much i i 30 minutes is max you draw the line at 30 minutes i draw the line at 30 minutes if it's okay. longer than that then we're f- got to be fucked up or something okay jp so i have to clarify one thing yeah is it still one session if i'm just laying on a bed letting multiple guys come in the room oh, and fuck Jesus me christ is that still one session because if that's the case eight hours <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> no i would say like i would say like two hours Two hours. Jesus yeah, you, there's Christ. a lot of stuff you can do, especially if there's multiple people in the room. You God know what I mean? Damn it. No wonder like, why the, the Jehovah's can, Witnesses knocked on your door. They ran away. Yeah, I know. Very fast. Jehovah Witnesses are Mormons. Whoever rides the bi- bicycles. Mormons. Jehovah's Mormons. Mormons. It's a new branch. It's a new branch. Jehovah Mormons. <laughs> the Jehovah yeah. Mormons. I don't know. Whoever, whichever ones ride the bikes. Them oh. and their 38 wives don't celebrate holidays. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'd say a couple hours, man. That's that's too much. Uh, next one comes that's in. That's too long. What? I said two hours is too long. Yes, it is too long. An hour and 45 is just right. Oh, that's terrible. All right. Uh, anyways, next one uh, comes in. My sex is a 2 be session. <laughs> Quibby. For Quibby. real. Okay. It's a TikTok. Uh-huh. Uh, next one uh, comes in from Zachary Charles Assay, which uh, that's another serial killer. Uh, he wants to know how far would you go with someone before it's considered sexual harassment in the workplace? What does that question even mean? I stuck a dildo to one of the one of the other <laughs> service cars. Yeah. Does that count? Is that I too mean, far? No, uh, I mean, one time one of the cooks came in and I looked at him and I said, I'd like to climb you like a tree. Oh God. Is that too far? Yeah, that's because I've done way worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop uh, me when I get there. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I've done that. Okay. I'm yeah. I'm I'm basically the guy on the sexual harassment video oh, that you God. don't want to be like. Um, I I'm definitely not that guy. Uh, I mean, I do. I like dark jokes. I like dark humor. That's my favorite kind of humor. Period. But I have a guy that I work with who's a technician, and he is he is just an absolute pain in my ass. I love him to death, but he has no limit whatsoever. Not a no. He one time he came up from behind me while I was hanging up the phone at work, and he went up and grabbed my balls like that. Well, when that happens, your reaction when that happens when you're not gay is to come. No, it's to close close your legs because that's your keep it there, and you can't help it. And so he's just sitting there going like, "Yeah, that's perfect." And that was the most uncomfortable I've ever ever been. I I just like something. I just fell over, and that was that. (laughs) I yeah. He just he thinks it's the funniest thing that's ever happened. That sounds like something redneck would do. It wasn't redneck. (laughs) That sounds like exactly. I would like to meet this guy. His name is Cole, and he is. he he still makes fun of me because That's of that. That's so it's like, funny, man. You liked it so much that you trapped my hand in there and and basically fell to the ground. Like you were gonna let me do it, and I'm like, no, I was not. And he's straight, and he's married, and so yeah, whatever. Uh, no, yeah. I really want to meet him. Yeah, how about you, Derek? I don't think I've really ever gotten to that. I point. don't either. Yeah, I've, I've accidentally bullied someone to where they cut all their hair off. Oh, whoa. I didn't know I did that. Way to go. I was like... Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was some chick that would just follow me and my buddy around everywhere at the restaurant we worked at. Like, she just kept following us. So we, my buddy one day was like, she's just like, you know, when you go, like, if you're out at, like, I don't know, like, Walmart or something, and there's it's raining, and there's just, like, this fucking cold dog, and it's just been rained on, and it just follows you, and you're like, get the fuck away from me, and it's just won't and it just keeps following you everywhere and i was he's like that's what she reminds me of so we started calling her wet dog <laughs> or, or soaked cur <laughs> or h204 legged friend or damp mongrel or oh my and she thought we were talking about her hair so she went and cut her fucking hair off oh way to go yeah nice so job. we got talked to about that i'm sure you uh, did but it, it was, we're like no it wasn't her appearance she just sucks <laughs> 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 she just well shit 
But that was about the extent of anything I've ever been reprimanded for in yeah. that aspect. Nice. Uh, now, should I have been reprimanded for? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. I have said some fucked up shit. I got in trouble once for when someone made a strawberry daiquiri and I said it looked like the remnants of an abortion. Oh, uh, that'll do it. And I got turned into HR for that. That'll do it. But it wasn't sexual harassment because abortions <laughs> aren't sexy. No, unless it's yours. God damn it. All right, last one for the love of God. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just JP's over here shaking his head. My oh. sense of humor is fucking awful. And it, I love it. It's great. I'm trying not to get canceled. Yeah, uh, the oh. la last one. Too where, late. where do you draw the line? This comes in from Kyle Jokin. He wants to know how many consecutive hours can you play video games before you feel like you wasted your day? It's Jokin. Is it? Jokin. Okay, Kyle, Kyle Jokin. Jokin? Cool. Yeah, sounds good. He's Swedish. All right. Answer the question. I just had this conversation. Also, today. the same fucking answer. <laughs> this is the second dumb one. <laughs> no such thing. As long as you've got Girl Scouts, weed, and video games, <laughs> you can't go wrong. Not the cookies, just the Scouts. Just right. The, the they make Scouts. the cookies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I Jesus. like them fresh. Oh, fuck. Uh, I... Apparently nine hours, nine yeah. and a half That's hours. Not, no, it says playing, <laughs> playing video, games, video games, not watching some other schmuck play them for nine hours. That's even worse. Uh, yeah, you I, should kill yourself. Yeah, really, you should. I agree. Such a good story. I'll buy the bullet. Such a good story. I've got extras. Uh, but I think, okay, here's the thing. If you start playing video games at like, uh, like at eight o'clock, seven or eight o'clock, and you play all through the night until sunrise the next morning... That's okay. But if you wake up in the morning, if you wake up in the I used morning, to do that when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All the time. But if you if you wait if you wait for like and start at like ten o'clock in the morning and play until ten o'clock at night, I feel like that you just wasted your whole fucking day and I'm done. I'm I like I can't do that. I can do that. But I can play all through the night until all hours of the night. Yeah. So that's me. I had that exact conversation with the guy at work today. Oh, did you? About how I was like Avatar is starting to get repetitive. Yeah. We were talking about it because he has it too, and I said, uh Man, I said it just got to where I would get up, I'd turn it on at ten o'clock, about ten o'clock in the morning, and the next thing I know, it's like ten o'clock at night, and I was like, I just wasted my whole fucking day. Yeah. And so I'm one hundred percent I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I'm on board with you. Oh yeah. wow. Like, Holy shit. Now take that applause off right fucking now. Sorry. All right. That's, uh, <laughs> Hell has frozen over and Derek agrees with me. Yeah, I am I am on board with that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is, that's where we draw the line for this week. Uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, thank you all for participating in Monday Fun Day this week. Uh, be on the lookout for Monday Friday again. Uh, that's coming up this week. Uh, first question comes in from Ryan Howell. He wants to know what... Oh, by the way, Ryan Howell said if we didn't select his question, he would murder a puppy. So What a dick. Fuck yeah, you. that's uncalled. That's sick. Yeah, don't do that. Don't hurt puppies. Just find a child and do that. That's yeah, fine. Go to a parade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Okay. Uh, See what you've done to me. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Oh, there goes my SNL career. Oh, go to a parade. Uh, he wants to know, Ryan Howe wants to know, what two celebrities would you like to watch play Russian roulette with each other? Just don't go to JP's parade. <laughs> yeah, don't. Different don't. parade. Different. You're going to get shot, but you'll live through it. I mean... Eventually, you're going to get the AIDS, but you can <laughs> live with that nowadays. Jesus. What two celebrities would you want to watch play Russian roulette with each other? That's, I've got a couple answers. I do, too. Yeah. Uh, Trump and Biden. Yeah, Ooh, that's an easy Yeah, one. that's good. That'd be a good one. That'd, that'd be good. Uh, Tucker Carlson and <laughs> Vladimir <laughs> Putin. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it there. Uh, okay. Um. God damn it, celebrities. I, I'm going to go with uh, Lizzo is one. Okay. And all the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking one of them. Everyone. Uh, then Joy Behar and Rosie O'Donnell. That'd be good. Yeah. I like right. that. I'd be all right with that. Derek? Well, one's already dead. <laughs> okay. But I was going to say Kid Rock and Toby Keith. Oh, fuck. Oh. That's mean. Oh, I love it, though. <laughs> I love it. So, I and still I'd still be, wouldn't be upset if Kid if Rock Toby, lost. I was going to say, I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. be upset if Toby won. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you guys are terrible. 
That's uh, great. Yeah. Next one. Next one is coming in from Matt Newman. He wants to know rejected Girl Scout cookies. Cream pies. Yeah. Absolutely. Is that yours? No. Okay, what you got? I was going to call mine rope dopes Nice. They're either going to get you high yeah. or knock you out. Nice. So, or they could also be called the Cosby's. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah. Mine, are the, mine is called the gender neutrals. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, just nice. plain vanilla. Yeah. Yep, that's plain what you got. Vanilla. That's it. Oreos. 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 <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, let's see. I did. Uh, next one comes in from Joseph Edward uh, Busan. How do you pronounce that? Uh, come on, uh, JP, help me out here. Bussy. Bussy. Joseph Edward Bussy. Bussy. Okay, sounds good. Bussin. 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 Yeah, bussin. that's what I it like is. That I better. like that better. He's bussin. Uh, I did modify his, but he, I got to give him credit because he gave me the idea. Uh, the question is, what's something you wish you could forget forever? Just go out of your mind. So I did this girl Janet one time. <laughs> and my, did I tell you the story? The one where she stunk up my car for like fucking, yes, I did. power washed it. Yes, the absolutely. If I could forget that, yeah. I might not be gay right now. <laughs> so that'd be it. So there was this one time where JP forced me into a bathroom and I want to absolutely forget that moment for the rest of my life. You can never forget. I tried to turn I'm like 9 11. I tried to turn him into the cops, but it didn't work out. Uh, no. They never believed me. Yeah, they never believed me. Uh, no, I. Just, uh, shit. I don't know, Derek. What about you? I would say. Uh, Being this, born. <laughs> that's one of them. That's definitely one. But I don't remember that. Yeah. It's all the stuff after it. Mm hmm. Yeah, everything <laughs> after <laughs> Alzheimer's would be amazing. Oh, man. wouldn't it, dude? Uh, you could just cuss people oh, out. And so fucking. sad. Uh, it I'm, is sad, but I'm going to say the Steve Bartman game. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I wish I could forget that forever, and I'm not. I still don't like the guy for it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I would say that I would that destroyed me for 13 years until he they won the World Series 13 years later. Yeah. See, for me, it's like doing something really embarrassing. Okay, then when I threw up in Giant Man's window track. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I wish everybody could forget, because this came up, I hung out with my parents this weekend. I wish everybody could forget that whenever I was like 12 years old, I printed off porn pictures onto my nah, mother's I printer. Will never, never forget. forget. <laughs> yeah. So this came up. We were having, we were having nice. lunch. And it was so funny, because I didn't realize how I got caught. Well, apparently, um, like... I turned the computer off and apparently my mom at 10 30 at night turned on the computer to do some work and it was still prompted in the printer and it started printing. Shit. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. Nice. You forgot one. Yeah, I forgot one. No, Damn it. They, they came home and I was trying to get out of the, their bed. Uh, I was so trying to get out of the room. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what I want to wow. forget. Uh, next one comes in from a uh, birthday man himself, Mr. Will Gonzalez. He wants to know rejected Super Bowl halftime shows. The Island Boys with the new New York Police Department dance team. I like that. If you haven't seen that shit, it's fucking funny. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, how about you, Derek? Stomp. No, I want to watch that. <laughs> All right, the Blue Man Group. I was going to say the group. Blue Man Group. Yeah. Fuck yes. Ugh. Or Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, oh yeah, Garth Brooks. He's yeah. a, he's a serial killer. You know that, right? Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's a serial killer. Really? Yeah. Uh, there, <clears throat> every single concert he's ever been to, there's always somebody that comes up missing, and that's why if you actually go and look on his page, you'll have a whole bunch of comments underneath there that say, "Where are the bodies, G?" No, no bullshit. And it's a joke all started by Sam Segura. <laughs> yeah. I've heard it. Yeah. But anyways, uh, let's see. Craig Remington. He wants to know rejected make a wish requests. Fuck. Uh, I do have one. Okay. Stop making fast and furious movies. That's a good one. Yeah. He just poor kid goes right up to Vin Diesel and Vin Diesel just looks at him and goes, nah, nah. How about you, JP? Please be don't, please. <laughs> just. I just want to be fucked till my asshole falls out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> is wow. that a thing? Uh, I mean, probably for your kinds of people. But Deal. Okay, that's that's great, Derek. Um, 
top that. <laughs> Get it? Top yeah. that. Uh, oh, yeah. man, it's gay humor. Playing hide and seek with John Cena. <laughs> You're never going to find him. <laughs> you can't see him. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You're never going to win. 20 bucks says that if a kid wanted to play hide and seek with John Cena, John Cena he would do it. 100. Yeah, You're agree. never going to find him. There's no point on even playing. John Cena has apparently donated more of his time and money than to anyone. make make a wish foundation than that's awesome. anybody. Dude, that's and awesome. that's why I like him. All right, and you're not going to see him. You're not going to find him. Yeah, you're not. Uh, next, I'm sorry. Last one. Can you imagine John Cena in camo. Fuck, fuck. It'd be crazy. Blue camo, even in the ocean. Uh, next, I'm sorry. Last one. This is. Uh, oh, this is one I just found. Uh, it says kids having problems with bullies at school should blank only shoot the bullies. <laughs> That's I was, dude. You dick. I tried to. I was like, oh, I got it first. No. Not the rest of the school. I was just the bullies. Take him to a Kansas City Chief parade. I was just getting ready to say Ooh. throw a parade. Throw a parade. There you a, go. Yeah. There you go. Derek stole my answer, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines questions and preguntas. Do you remember what, what? our, like, I, I don't know about you guys. I got picked on all the fucking times. Oh, kid. yeah. And I remember my first advice that everybody would always tell you is just ignore it. Yeah. You remember <laughs> yeah. that shit? Yeah. And it never worked. No. no, of course it didn't work. You know what works now as an adult? Fucking ignoring it. Like yeah, when I pick on somebody now. and they yeah. don't give me anything back, I'm like, well, that's no fucking fun. Yeah, yeah you want to get the rise. So I get my parents saying, like, just ignore it. But as a kid, we you don't. You can't do that. You can't do that it. That makes it worse. Honest, yeah. Honestly, yeah. start they taking. try harder. Start taking, taking, like, jujitsu or boxing lessons. I mean, if you want my honest or opinion. Or carry a stun gun. Fight naked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, th I think well, you, I, you I might get picked. Yeah, you might get picked on a little bit more if you do that. But if you ever do get into a fight and you can't win the fight and you know you can't win the fight, yeah, take your clothes off. They don't want to fight a naked person every time. I mean, JP might, but other than that, that's the only way JP fights. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say, if we're fighting and we're not naked, something went wrong. <laughs> he uses his dick as a fucking weapon. <laughs> fucking broadsword, bitch. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's questions and preguntas. Two-handed broadsword for this week. Uh, again, thank you guys for participating in Monday Fun Day. But again, reminder: look out for Monday Friday for this week. And now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and uh, thank you guys so very much. I won last week. Says the guy who counts the votes. Uh, no, Derek even I voted like, for me. You know, there were a lot of votes that came in overnight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I think that that was stolen. That was a definite. I'd like to recount. Yes. Okay, yeah. that's I'm, fine. I'm calling my buddy Rudy, Yeah. and we're going to see. Okay. Sounds good, but yes, uh, I but I did. I had the best list of the uh, the best sure Super Bowl halftime shows of all time. Oh, man, you're the greatest. So that means this week I get the championship picks for the first time in like fucking six yeah. or seven episodes. Been a minute. Been a minute. Uh, JP did come in second place. Actually, came in second place. Uh, so he gets the sandwich picks for this week, and uh, Mike came in dead last, and Derek is back on the show over this week, so he gets the first pick this week. And this week's draft is going to be the worst fads of all time. Fads or trends. Uh, so Derek, you get to, uh, you know, kick this bad fad draft off. I'm going to go with something that is a fad and trendy right now. Okay. Oh, don't do Stanley it. Cups. What? Nice. Stanley oh, yeah, okay. I thought you were talking about the fucking hockey thing, and I'm like, what are you talking no, about? Like, no, like that's what I thought they were in the beginning. Like, I, and they're like seventy dollars or yeah. sixty. It's a fucking cup. It is, and it's like something that my dad uses a thermos when I was like five. Absolutely, and even even now they they specialize in special straws for the Stanley Cups. Yeah, that like curl so girls don't get the wrinkles around their mouth when they get old. This is fucking ridiculous. But, uh, but, yeah, that's a great pick. Uh, JP, what is your first overall pick? Crocs. God, God damn. damn it. 
You suck. That's a good one. That was going to be like my third round pick, but I wanted it. Uh, I am going to get with my first pick, which is going to be eating fucking Tide Pods. You stupid motherfuckers. I think that's a good one. No. They're I delicious. Mean, <laughs> well, it just fucking, let's wean the fucking, look, we have too many people on this earth already. Yeah. If you're fucking dumb enough to eat a Tide Pod, good. Yeah. Eat all you want. All right. <laughs> Chow down, motherfucker. Yeah. Okay, I do have uh, my second pick, and I'm going to go with Pokemon Go. Okay. okay. People just walking around, which is for some of the fat fucks, that, that's great. It doesn't help. No, no. They're still fat. They still, God, I've seen the people that are like riding bikes with like 30 fucking cell phones. Clear out to here. This is ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm taking Pokemon Go. Uh, JP, your next pick. Uh, flash mobs. Oh yeah, I kind of like them, yeah. and kind of don't. Yeah. But I, I understand where you're coming from. Okay, uh, Derek, you get two in a row. Beanie Babies. God uh, damn it! That's one. That's a great one. I didn't even think Had about that it. one. Uh, yeah, Beanie Babies. All right, and your next pick. It's up there too with Beanie Babies. Funko Pops. Funko oh, pops. yeah. You don't, don't know remember. what Funko Pops uh-uh. are. They're still. You've got one right there. Yeah. The Darth oh, Vader. oh, those? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they're cool. I think they're really neat, actually. They're neat. I think they're good decoration. They don't yep. take up a lot of space. They're the new Beanie Babies. Okay. I just like them. I just think they look cool. Uh, JP, what's your next pick, dude? Uh, Furby. All right. Furby. Oh, shit. Oh man, I just thought of one and I kinda I kinda like it. The Chia Pets. Okay. You're right? Uh the Chia Chia. Uh, that's been a Chia Chia Chia. Yeah. Yeah. They have Mr. T Chia. And now Chia Tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a uh, goddamn plant. It is yeah. a tree. Okay. I uh I'm gonna go with it and I'm gonna lose because they are in style right now and I think they're dumber than shit. And that is the mullet. Hey. The fucking mullet. No, you don't look cool. You look like a douchebag. So, yeah. JP, what's your next pick? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Pogs. Damn it. Do Dude, you those? I like those. Uh, of Damn. course you did. I did. I had a Michael Jordan slammer, yeah, and I had a collection yeah. of Michael Jordan Pogs. Pogs it is. Yep. That's, uh, that's a bad pick. I'm just telling you. Sure. D- Derek, what do you got? You get your last two picks. Grills. Nice. Grills. G-R-I-L-L-Z. Oh, like, yeah. When they had like the diamond and the gold people, and all that people shit. People still do oh, that yeah. shit. They're dumb as fuck. Mouth grills. Yes. Okay. All right. And your last pick. Hacky sacks. Dude, those were the shit for baseball players. <laughs> dude. <laughs> fucking losers. No, dude. That, that was, <laughs> it was good. Hand-eye coordination. Kept you active. Got your blood pumping. It's good stuff, man. Ugh. It's good stuff. Dude, it reminds me of on two uh, between two ferns mm. when Zach Galifianakis he had uh, uh, what what's the guy Matthew uh, fucking McConaughey McConaughey on there and he goes, does it make you sad that while you're sitting here somewhere there's a hack not being sackied, or, <laughs> or a sack not being hacked? Yeah, dude, fucking hilarious, dude, hilarious. That's pretty funny. Okay, uh, JP, what is your last pick? Overalls. Ooh. And they're coming, kind of coming back they too. Are. And it's fucking. It was stupid the first three times, and it's stupid now. I had a pair. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I have one in the back of my head, but I don't know <laughs> if I want to use it. I had one. Go in the back for of it. We need the draft. I, I yeah, know. Yeah, do it, man. Don't no, be a pussy. I don't want to. Oh, you puss. Wow. And the, some of these ones that are up here at the top for a lot of people are like actually good, like 80s I, wrestling yeah, shit. Yeah, num- number two on the list I looked garbage at was pill Garbage Pill Kids. Pill kids. Yeah. It's like, those what? Are fu- those are the best. Those are awesome. Yeah, fuck yeah, they were. Okay, I will, uh, I will go with this one, and I think it's coming back, but I'm going to go with the fanny pack. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Joe Rogan still wears one, and that's where he carries all of his drugs around in. That oh, that's not where I would look if I was going to use <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It's not where I keep mine. Yeah. Uh, I keep mine in my pocket. So there is one that I almost picked that uh, 
I don't, I don't, I just don't think that people would know what it is. But remember those fucking pocket Tamagotchi bullshit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those were dumb as fuck. They yeah. were so almost, fucking almost stupid. Picked it. Yeah. And I'm like, and oh, they would just God. die. Yeah, yeah, they would just and die. It would be useless. Yeah. Those yeah. people were brilliant. Yes. The Tamagotchi people were fucking brilliant. And you couldn't bring like it back pet, to life. Just, no, it, it, it just de- it did. It's pointless it, now. You got to go buy a new one. Buy They're fucking one. brilliant. It's so fucking dumb. That's brilliant marketing. Uh, yeah. Uh, but. I don't really have very many others that I could think. Of. I almost picked bowl cuts over mullets. Yeah, bowl it, cuts. Oh. Yeah, everybody had one Yikes. of those when I was growing up. We used to call them ass heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, razor scooters. Come the fuck on. Roller racers. I remember them shits. I Roller fucking racers. hit a kid in the head with one. Nice. Uh, yeah, other than that, I don't really, I can't really think. I saw the jelly shoes. I saw those, and I'm like, light eh. up sneakers. Oh, no, yeah. those are cool. Those are cool. Pet Rock. Unless they're Crocs. Oh, Pet, Pet Rock, Pet Rock is too. a good one. Fuck. I, thought of that I didn't one even too. think of that one. But people actually bought a fucking rock. That's dumb. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Franklin Mint plates. Oh, good. The nice. collector plates. Or, or the coins, either one. Yeah, they would yeah. have like Franklin it's Mint one of a kind a of Michael stuff. Jordan plate. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, dude. you never seen the Franklin yeah. Mint stuff? Yeah, oh. man. Oh, it's awful. The Franklin Mint. <laughs> I got a Babe Ruth plate for my for Christmas <laughs> one year. You don't eat off of it. You display it. It's got a stand and you display the oh, plate. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I know my grandmother has that shit. Yes. Oh, that's they Snow were Globes. Fucking that's a good horrible. one. Uh, no, Globes. because I think some of them are kind of cool. So yeah. kind of cool. Like, like if there was a lot of cool fads that I can remember, like collecting baseball cards, basketball cards, and all that shit. But like the ones that you're just kind of like, eh, what the fuck? China, like the the country? No, oh. like the <laughs> dishes that when you have people over yeah, for the dinner, whole, the whole country. Yeah, yeah, we gotta have the whole we, country. Yeah, when you have Chinese people over for dinner, <laughs> they eat off of the China. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go out and say it's a really dumb fad, and that is going to be Super Bowl parades. <laughs> That's just throwing that out there. Ouch. Uh, but anyways, guys, you can go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines or X, which is at L-O-T Sidelines, and vote for the list that has uh, basically the fads that you don't like uh, the most. So go and do that for us. And whoever wins next week, I don't know, Derek's not going to be here, so he doesn't technically get the W. Vote for me and JP. That's how you can decide who wins. Actually, whoever wins gets a blowjob. And since Travis is here next week for Derek, <laughs> I encourage everyone to vote for Derek. That'll be next week's draft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. But, guys, uh, thank you very much. Now we get to move on to uh, my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by the two-time champion of uh, Funniest Person in Wichita, Kansas, Mr. Derek Alders. Wow. The only two-time champion. That is impressive. Yeah. I'm a two-time and son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Yep, that's true. Uh, But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this week's shitty situation is would you rather have to wear... Crocs and overalls for the rest of your life, <laughs> or would you rather have to wear tap shoes and mesh tank tops for the rest of your life? I oh, am, is... I am breaking down. I I am breaking down and going with you the overalls pussy. and Crocs, dog. You're no. gonna be cold no matter what. I could I couldn't sneak anywhere. I couldn't sneak around. What are you trying to sneak up yeah, on? Who are you trying to sneak <laughs> you up on, man? Creep. <laughs> I don't know if I ever want to go anywhere. People will be able to hear me from a mile away. I keep trying to rape this bitch, but she hears <laughs> she me coming. She hears me coming every time. No, I just I don't know. I don't want to be that guy. I hate it when people are walking outside of my office and I can hear them walking. Yeah. It drives me nuts. Now I'll be that guy. Yeah. So yeah, I don't. Okay. I just you know probably uncomfortable and stuff like that. Yeah. But here's the thing: now I can actually gain as much weight as I possibly oh, yeah. can. Fuck don't have yeah. to worry about my pants falling down. Yeah, I think so, if you're fucking huge, I think you get away with Crocs and overalls much <laughs> easier. One hundred percent. So you know, I, and the other thing is, is I I really care about comfort. Yeah. And I have a feeling that tap shoes would be rather uncomfortable. <laughs> so I don't <laughs> think either one of these shoes are going to be comfortable. <laughs> I don't either. But I, I'm I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go. Crocs and overalls. How about you guys? 
I've got to go. I can't wear a tank top. Dude, I got a t-shirt <laughs> under my fucking tank top right now. Yeah, I know. I can't do the fucking mesh tank. I don't give a fuck about tap shoes. I'll rock <laughs> shit out of them. <laughs> Some of them probably look dope as shit. <laughs> they probably but do. But I got nothing on a mesh tank top. Stretch, That's where you lose me. Stretch marks? Huh? Would you have stretch marks? Do I? Yeah. Dude, I got a road map on my fucking, <laughs> on my fucking hips, man. I believe it. Ain't no way I'm. you're going to get... I won't wear a tank top, period. I won't even wear a wife beater. I'll beat my wife, but I won't <laughs> wear a wife beater. I just... I want so bad to Derek to have to do like... A- Kay would kick <laughs> your ass, dude. She would fuck you up. <laughs> 100%. No <laughs> doubt about it, man. She would wear you the fuck out, dude. I want Derek. <laughs> I want Derek so badly to do a remake of the music video. I'm too sexy for my that shirt. That would be awesome. <laughs> Where, I'm, I'm not gonna make you come. So forget <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I think it just. I just think it'd be funny, uh, dude. But, I'm already half centaur. Those tat shoes would be loud. <laughs> they would. That's <laughs> right? for sure. How about you, JP? Come on, man. Is it even a question? I'm trying to think of, of the gayest course, thing. Of course I'm going mesh tank top and tap <laughs> shoes, bro. That's pretty much what I wear every Saturday now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got a whole closet full of both. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to go. I, I got to say, for, for like... Being a gay guy, you are the like least gay guy I've ever met in my entire life. You wear normal clothes. You smoke you shit. <laughs> you, your clothes aren't gay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try to gay it up for you next yeah. time. Oh, please don't. Well, you're going to have to because... Uh, yeah, you got oh, you. yeah. I got to impress Travis. You got to impress Travis next week. Oh, shit. Guys, I'm, I'm honestly going to say I had a lot of fun this episode with both of you guys. Thank you very much. It was uh, a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I love doing uh, these is. episodes with you, especially when Derek is in a good mood. Yeah, man. That, that makes a difference. He must have oh, ran sorry. over a puppy. <laughs> he did. No, it's that KC parade. Yeah. <laughs> He's still feeling that. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. riding that high. Just skipping around. And I never thought I'd say that. this. I fucking hope the Jayhawks win the national championship <laughs> oh, now. Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> Holy fuck. Let's go. <laughs> They're in the same area. Free Carl Lee. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't either. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, guys, thank you. Thank you very, very much. I sincerely do appreciate all of you guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, sharing our TikToks. We now are on the, we're getting really close to half a million followers nice. on TikTok, which is crazy. Uh, but thank you for like sharing the show. Uh, that really does help us out a lot. Uh, and keep doing that. We love doing the show uh, for you guys. So uh, be on the lookout again next week. Uh, episode will come out on Wednesday, but Monday, Friday. Uh, if you have any suggestions you would like to put on the show uh, for our uh, special guest, uh, Travis Cagle, a very funny guy. I think we're gonna have a very good time. And I don't know, but I don't know if I have to sit in between you and Travis this episode or not. I bet you shouldn't even try (laughs) to do something that stupid (laughs) as sitting between us. That would be a mistake. No, I'm not going to. If you try and sit in between us, I'm going to be rubbing in between your legs all show. But it's Uh, totally up to you. Totally going to be Travis in the middle. That's what it's going to work. Very good. Uh, Guys, thank you very much. We always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us. Uh, We hope a line of fire ants runs right up your pee hole. (laughs) 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 if you don't like us tell your enemy and until next time raid kills bugs dead (laughs) until next time keep laughing we'll see y'all later take care